First things first, welcome in or welcome back to the channel. My name is Grin, and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. There comes a time in every RuneScape player's career that they grind a boss or even many bosses with the goal of collecting enough GP to get whatever amazing gear upgrades they desire. But no matter which way you look at it, there's one item that sits at the top of every combat style, an item so great that it alone costs over 1 billion GP. Those items are the Twisted Bow, Temekin's Shadow, and the Scythe of Vitur. In this series, I'm going to grind a bunch of different bosses until I can sell my bank and buy the most expensive one, the Twisted Bow. So grab a drink, pick a boss to grind, and come make some money with me. First kill back from the last video, and I get an Awakeners Orb. Hopefully it's a sign of something good in the future, and I'm just going to try to do a little bit more of this, maybe... 50 more before Raxora comes out, but we'll see. It might be less than that. It might just be 25. I don't know. Another Awakener Zorb. Despite having 540 points to start with, I had to Turiel skip for another two hours before I could get my first Araxite task, and I only got 76. First kill down, it is very tough, and I forgot to put on my bracelet of slaughter because the end and rage phase is just so difficult. Uh, first drop, three Renar seeds, definitely not enough supplies to go to another trip, but gonna go ahead and get some more. I think I'm gonna bring maybe the BGS because there was a lot, not the BG, ah, oh, dang it, Araxor. I'm trying to, trying to talk, friend. Uh, not a BGS, a Dragon Warhammer because. I was just like not hitting very often, but also um, I think the five tick attack speed made things really awkward at the enrage phase at the end. So I may sell this and despite the bludgeon being so overpriced, I may buy it anyways. I'm actually, yeah, going to go ahead and do that now. Oh, not the void waker, the bludgeon <laughs> or not the void bludgeon, the zombie axe. going to sell that and buy a bludgeon i know i'm gonna pay a crazy price right now it's just 39 mil let's just put it in let's let's see if we can get one for 39 i can all right so i think i am just gonna bring this for now and uh bank these um i guess i'll have to bring the avernic anyways for the hammer spec and that feels kind of bad i don't know we'll see we'll see what i go with all right, so very shortly, I'm actually going to get a drop, but it's a little awkward because I forgot to have my mic on. So I'm just recording over it now, and as you'll see very shortly when I click on this little spider here, um, I got very lucky and got the Araxite Fang. But the funny part about it is I actually thought that it was just part of the halberd itself, the Noxious halberd. So I actually didn't even react to it really when I was recording it. I was just like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then as you can see in the chat, I said, that's just one piece, right? And they're like, that's what's up, you know, and they're all excited about the clan is at least. But it took me, you know, till the clan uh, told me that it was actually the thing that makes the Amulet of Rancor. So pretty glad to get it. But yeah, it was super cool. So I did end up deciding to sell it because I do think it is only going to go down in price and it sold for 107 mil. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is buy back my Amulet of Torture. So I'll just go ahead and do that now. Amulet of, oh, I spelled the Amulet wrong. Amulet of Torture. Just buy that thing back. Really? 18 mil? There's no way, right? Wow. Okay, 18 mil. And then I'm going to turn this other 88 mil uh, into platinum tokens and then put that in the loot tab with, uh, how do I do this? Exchange them for platinum. There we go. Okay, I guess it was that simple. <laughs> so I'll deposit that and then I'm actually going to go here and deposit all those platinum tokens. And now our loot tab is up to 270 mil. That is so dang nice. So now if I just deposit everything I got, my bank value is only back up to 1.45 bill. But um, I think once the items bounce back after all of the, um, like, freaking out over the new boss comes out, or coming out and, like, all of the normal items rebound, I think I'll be sitting up right around uh, 1.6 bill, which is huge. And you never know, I could get another drop from the boss, but I'm not going to count my chickens because I'm surprised I even got this drop. But if I can manage to get that ring for, or from Vardorvis, 
I'm going to get the Tebow in this episode, and that's pretty crazy. Shortly after Araxor's release, I was not able to play for like five days because me and my wife had to go out of state to visit her family. But while I was gone, I did manage to do some AFK blood rune crafting, and I made, you know, sell it for, you know, almost 2.7 mil. But uh, my goal with it is not just to add it to the cash stack. I think I'm going to spend all of that 2.7 mil on just more supplies to keep doing other grinds. Um, but I'll, I won't get a ton anyways, because even like a hundred prayer potions is over one mil, but, uh, I wish I could have gotten more done. I got almost a full level, only 40 K XP left to go, but it is what it is going to sell these and buy some supplies. These are all the supplies I ended up getting. The runes did not quite sell for 316 each. I think it was more like 304 each. And despite that only being a 12 GP difference, when you have like 8,000 of something, it does add up. So Ended up getting just shy of 2.6 mil worth of supplies, but not too bad. 75 prayer potions, 20 divine super combats, 20 divine ranging. I only bought four staminas because I just had a little left over, but 600 sharks, 100 kawam bams, and 120 anglerfish. So it is what it is. Going to go back to Araxor. I ended up doing two trips at Araxor, and the boss still feels great. Still getting like four kill trips on average, but... I decided while the Ultor ring is at a high of, I think, still over 200 mil right now, I'm going to go back to my Tendril Hell here and try to maybe get lucky and get a Vestige at Vardorvis. But I decided to switch things up and try out the Noxious Halberd, Noxious Halberd here. Not sure how it's going to go. Going to go ahead and pull up my Vardorvis log here. I'm at 1,335 KC. Managed to scoop up the pet in the last episode, but I really am just looking for this vestige because if I get it, that completes the series pretty much. I think that we can just go ahead and get a Tebow if I get this drop, but we shall see. I went, uh, where are you, Duke? I went just about double drop rate at Duke. I'm really hoping, it took me, you know, double drop rate to get the Magus vestige. I'm really hoping I don't have that same luck at Vardorvis. But it's beginning to feel like it. But maybe I'll come in here and get spooned on the first kill. We'll find out. I got like the opposite of a spoon on my first <laughs> my first drop. Very, very bad one. But as you can see by the time, minute and 18 seconds, that kill flew by. I don't know if I just got very lucky. I did max hit once with a 61, which is much higher than when I was using the Blade of Seldor. I think I maxed out at a 52 then. Um, my max hit could be higher if I brought the Berserker Ring, but I've been using the Light Bear for these specs with the, um, Void Waker, but maybe I'm biased because it's a new weapon. It's just kind of different. It's fun to use, um, but it felt pretty great. So I'm going to keep going with this and hopefully I keep consistent times like this, because if I do, that's going to speed this up a lot. Well, it was a nice jingle to hear, but uh, not for the item I wanted, a Blood Quartz. Uh, pretty slow kill at that as well, but coming up on 1,350 KC. This was an important KC because it is 1,363. And the reason it's important is because that is, again, the KC I got the Vestige on at the Duke. So I'm going to have to do more kills at Vardorvis than I did at Duke, but that doesn't actually make me more dry because I'm actually only almost 300 kills over the drop rate. When I get to 1,388, I'll be 300 kills over the drop rate. But at Duke, I believe I was like just shy of double. So hoping to not go double dry here. Hey, yo, another Awakener's Orb. That's at least some kind of money. And that is 1,488 KC. 400 KC over drop rate. Maybe in the next 100. And another Awakener's Orb. Not what I want to see, but that's actually almost a mil. It says just shy of 900 GP there. But if I drop it, it's 924K, so I will take that. Another Awakener's Orb. Still not a bad drop to see, but... Still not the one I want, but you really can't complain about making almost a mil from one drop. Oh, baby. Virtus Robe Top. That is such a nice drop. Dang. seven, Just shy of 70 mil. 67 mil. Oh, what a drop. But that that's not the drop. 
but it helps. So far, I think in this episode, I'm at like 160 mil-ish made. Huge money made this episode so far. Going to keep going. If I get that ring, not only are we going to already have the Twisted Bow, but I'm going to be well jump-started into the beginning of the next series where I'll actually be able to not quite start from just scratch, but actually have like a little mini setup for each combat style, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I'm going to keep going with this trip. Oh my god, it finally happened. I caught the vestige. Yes. Oh man, how much is that going for right now? Let's find out. Altor, 190 mil, a little bit down from what it was before. Oh, but that's nice. Time to go make this ring and make a, a lot of money. All right, it's been a long time since I've had to do this, but I believe you use a chisel on a berserker ring to make an icon. Break down the berserker ring. Yep. Then you put... What? What? Oh, I did inspect. <laughs> then you use it on the icon with 500 blood runes, and it'll make the altar icon, which I now have. And then if I use three chromium ingots along with a ring mold on a furnace, it should make the ring. But the nice thing is, is I only had to buy one because throughout all these Vardorvis kills, I actually got two Chromium ingots in general, which is not bad. I'm a main account. They're only like 130k each, so it really doesn't matter. But do I just click smelt? How does this work? Oh, craft an Altor ring. Yeah, let's craft it. And now I have the ring. Oh, 90, 194 mil, basically. Okay, so it... The price check of the Vestige wasn't including the Berserker Ring, but now that I've used one, it has now added the value to this. And I think, although I have enough money for the Twisted Bow now, I think I'm going to go ahead and go and finish my um, Araxor Slayer task, and I'll just use this ring over there, because I kind of just want to finish it before I go ahead and sell all my gear, because then I won't be able to do it anymore. But that's my plan. I'm going to finish that up, and then I will see you guys to sell my entire bank. I did end up doing like seven more Araxor kills, but I decided actually I'm just going to go ahead and sell the stuff in my bank now and get that over with because when I am able to afford some gear, maybe even a budget setup to go back and do some more of it because it's actually not that hard a boss, I'll probably go back and maybe try to just chance a random lucky drop to help rebuild the bank instead of, you know, preparing for the grind ahead of time. I don't know. I think it makes sense, but I did end up doing some clue scrolls, but not as many as I should have because I don't do them as often. I don't really love them, but it is what it is. I did one beginner, got nothing from it. That's to be expected though. Five easies, really not expecting to see anything out of these either. Just going to go ahead and spam through these. I'm actually going to get bank this stuff so I can open hopefully the last five uh just in one inventory here start with the mediums now oh collection log <laughs> I think two yeah two of them not really worth anything but two collection logs not bad um still oh Zamrock page four got another one there nothing out of that no ranger boots sad uh, two hards and nothing out of those either. I think my total loot from all of that was very little. Um, it didn't track the beginners. Maybe it's because I opened them too quick. I don't know. But very little GP made. Maybe 150k from all of the clues. But I was just unlucky. But time to sell off this massive loot tab. 544 mil. And then sadly just start getting rid of this stuff. I say sadly, but I am very excited to own a Twisted Bow. When looking at the loot tab, I actually realized that I had those uh, seven uh, blood quartz from Vardorvis, and then I also had 15 brimstone keys. So I went ahead and opened all that, and I got just 3.5 mil loot, which is actually pretty good. I got uh, a three dragon fruit seed drop, a, a two seed drop, and then I also got two 20 runite ore drops from the blood quartz. So not too bad, but for real this time, I'm actually going to sell the items.
After selling off everything in the tab, I ended up with 533 mil. Uh, yeah, no, near 534, 533 mil. But uh, if I look at the uh, gold I already have and add that to it, puts us up at almost 610 mil. Um, oh, I accidentally deposited it all because I'm an idiot. If I examine it, uh, nope, still just 609 mil, just barely over. If I look at my loot tab, uh, it's looking at, uh, I guess, uh, 1 billion and 6 mil GP. But if I look at the overall bank, I'm sitting at 1.1 bill still, which means not all of it's in the loot tab. I'm going to have to go through the bank and find some other stuff to sell, but we're going to get there. I'm going to get up to the GP and that's what you'll see next. It sadly ended up taking me way longer than I'd like to admit to sell enough things in the bank to actually be able to buy the twisted bow. The first time I've ever equipped one, first time I've ever had one on the account, period. It is so nice to see. And after selling everything, <laughs> I ended up with uh, almost 27 mil left over which means after I give away 25 million gold, I will have two mil and just a couple items in the bank to my name. I guess I'll go to the bank real quick and show you guys what's left after the carnage selling everything. Uh, if you look at my total bank value, it still says 30.7 mil. Five mil of it, I guess, is in supplies, but I figured I'd just leave that there because I'm going to need some anyways. And then it says I still have 13 mil in my bank here. I'm really not sure entirely where that's coming from, but I do know that like almost eight mil of it is from the rings, but I really didn't want to unimbue them and sell them. So I've just left them here. I actually chose to sell the anguish over that, but I don't know. I thought it was fitting. You know, I'd rebuild probably the first thing I'm going to buy is the anguish other than like some blessed dehyde or something, which actually may be part of my early budget rebuild. I kept the Ava's assembler because I have a ton of Orcath heads, uh, 29 to be exact. So it didn't really feel worth destroying it and getting rid of it. But when I make the, the rebuild series, uh, I will show more of that, but for now, I'm going to deposit this, pick a winner from the giveaway, and I will, uh, I'm actually going to move all of this over because the range setup will actually end up being the primary thing here. What am I going to put? Uh, let's reorganize the bank a little. Uh, here we go. I'll do this instead. And, oh. Shoot, I probably shouldn't be doing this in the video. Anyways, uh, you guys get the point, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and pick a winner and we'll jump onto that. All right, all I do is turtle. Uh, you have won uh, the giveaway, so I'll be getting in touch with you and you'll get your 25 mil. All right, congratulations and perdition on winning your 25 mil. I actually still have it as platinum tokens on accident. Uh, let me exchange those for some coins. There we go. Uh, glad you won. You've been a supporter from, you know, basically the very beginning of the channel, and it's great to be able to give you some money. So thank you again for watching. Uh, and yeah, GZ, GZ. Well, 
I suppose at this point, the series is over. I honestly did not think I would get the series done in just four episodes. I thought it would take... Hey, what's up, little help puppy? <clears throat> I thought it would take, like, maybe two more than that, five, six. I knew it wouldn't be a crazy long series, but I am excited for the one that comes up next. Uh, we are going to rebuild. I'm going to hopefully make... You know, maybe 800 mil a bill, hopefully, with this Tebow and maybe a couple other methods that I sprinkle in. But I'm very, very glad to have gotten it. I did not think I would own one of these on this account for a very long time, just due to the way I play the game. But looking back at it, I'm kind of glad Vardorvis like, took a while to put out the Vestige because if I did not get that Virtus Robe Top randomly right before getting the Vestige... I would not have had enough money to get this even after getting the Vestige drop. And if I did not get lucky at Araxor, I also would not have been able to get this. So I feel very, very fortunate. And thank you all for watching. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.